Around 58% of Japan's foreign residents think that the country's handling of the coronavirus pandemic has been poor or worse. Yes, the results of the recent City Cost questionnaire, novel coronavirus measures and vaccine in Japan are now out. Let's take a closer look at them to see some of your views regarding the outbreak of the virus and the pandemic here in Japan. The questionnaire was available to registered City Cost users via the website to answer and get points from around mid-April to mid-May. The questionnaire covered issues including the response of authorities in Japan to the virus outbreak and subsequent pandemic, perceived discrimination in virus prevention measures, and willingness to be vaccinated here in Japan. In terms of an overall trend becoming clear from the results of the questionnaire is that there has been a growing dissatisfaction with the way the authorities in Japan, the central government and others, have been responding to the virus crisis. When we asked you to rate the response of the authorities to the early stages of the outbreak, which was well over a year ago now, 34% of you responded that it had been poor or worse. Over a year later then, and that figure has jumped to over 58%. I think initially Japan did all right, but since then it's been a bit of a disorganized mess. The go-to travel campaign for one wasn't a very well thought out idea, wrote one respondent. The government's total ineffectiveness in setting up and expecting COVID-19 vaccination programs is a travesty for a first world country, wrote another. Response to the uh, response wasn't all critical though. I believe that the Japanese government has been doing the best that it could to alleviate the situation," wrote one respondent. The questionnaire also asked you to select from a list of options the greatest causes of concern for you as a foreign resident of Japan during the early stages of the virus outbreak and now or at the time of completing the questionnaire. Also here we can see growing concern over the authorities' response. Thinking back to the early stages of the outbreak, the five greatest causes of concern, according to the City Cost questionnaire, were physical or mental health of yourself or loved ones, being far from family or friends in another country, current work circumstances or lack thereof for yourself or a partner, response of authorities to the outbreak, and personal or family finances. And at the time of completing the questionnaire, physical or mental health, Response of authorities to the outbreak, being far from family or friends in another country, personal or family finances, current work circumstances. We can see then that response of authorities jumps two places to become the second greatest cause of concern out of the options available. Here are some more of your comments. The general public in Japan didn't seem to be strictly following the stay home guidelines, wrote one respondent. I am so disappointed in the lack of a plan on behalf of the local and national government leaders throughout the past year. The fact that the population is not vaccinated with any organized plan, but there is a plan for the Olympics to be held, are both examples of such negligence and disrespect to the citizens," wrote another. Thinking more specifically about the nature of this response, the questionnaire also asked the following question. In regards to virus prevention policy and measures implemented or encouraged by authorities in Japan, have you ever felt them to discriminate against or to be particularly dismissive of foreign residents of Japan? To which you answered, largely, no. Over 40% of you did answer yes in at least a few cases though. From your comments, it seems that many of you felt that international travel restrictions imposed by the government during the pandemic resulted in unfair treatment of foreigners wanting to re-enter the country. Entry restrictions imposed in April of 2020 in an effort to curb the spread of the virus in Japan applied to even those foreigners with resident status in Japan trying to re-enter the country, with some exceptions, while Japanese nationals were allowed to return. You also objected to the theory which posited that it was our foreign, in this case English, pronunciation compared to Japanese, which might be leading to a greater spread of the virus. This is what one morning news program here in Japan filled some of their airtime with anyway. They even had someone test it using the phrase, this is a pen, or in Japanese, kore wa pen desu, and what appeared to be a piece of tissue paper. This is a pen, kore wa pen desu. I feel I can do it. 
to cater to whatever the needs of the day are. So I'm not really sure how valid this theory is, but anyway, here you go. This is a pen. Kore wa pen. This is a pen. Kore wa pen. Whatever you want. Throughout the questionnaire, one of your more frequently cited reasons for concern over the response of authorities to the pandemic here in Japan was the handling of the vaccine rollout. Indeed, the vast majority of us seem ready and willing to be vaccinated here in Japan and soon. Indeed, when asked, are you willing to receive the COVID-19 vaccine here in Japan? Some 68% of you responded yes and soon. We've got more videos regarding resources and information about Japan's vaccine rollout on the City Cost Japan YouTube channel, so be sure to check those out. Whatever issues we might be having regarding the handling of the pandemic here in Japan though, it appears to be having little influence, if any at all, as to how long we want to stay in the country or if we want to leave at all. When asked, over half of you responded that the situation surrounding the pandemic was having no effect on your plans to stay in Japan for either the short or long term. Only 5% of you said that you were wanting to leave the country earlier than originally planned. So there you have it guys, to take a look at a summary of the results of our novel coronavirus measures and vaccine in Japan questionnaire at your own pace, you can find a related article up on the website now. Don't forget to keep a lookout for more questionnaires like this on City Cost, which you can answer and get points to exchange for shopping vouchers. And as always, like, share and subscribe to the City Cost Japan YouTube channel, we really appreciate it. Stay happy, stay safe and see you next time, bye bye.